everyone, it's me, Darlene. I'm in the mood to sew something. So what I'm going to do this time is I am going to make a like caftan or muumu type garment. I'm going to pick one of my tapestries that I have washed. I'm going to look at the patterns. I'm going to let the pattern determine the size. You know, if there's a border or something. And I'm just going to go with it and make it whatever size it turns out to be. This is going to be for an extreme size woman, super size, super duper size. I would say my size or bigger because this is going to be a very loose fitting wide caftan. I will show you really quick. You'll see me sewing it, cutting it, all that stuff. And then I will do a little fashion show at the end to show you how it at least looks on me. So you know I am 5'4", about 315 pounds right now. So that can give you an idea. But I always have measurements in the auction. When you see this on eBay, go look for the measurements there. And you'll know if y'all want to bid or not. So let's get going. I think I'm going to go with this nice fabric. It is like a... I don't know how to describe my shades of blue, but it's blue, but it is quite um, like a grayish blue. There's a little bit of grayish to it. Just a really nice color. And it has tan, sort of kind of Aztec type, primitive type kind of writing. I don't know what to call anything. So what I'm going to do is since this has a nice border at the bottom, I'm going to, you know, cut off the hem that comes with the fabric. And I'm going to make it that length so that the whole border is there. And then the sleeve will fall, you know, probably pretty close to the wrist because I want to make this as wide as I can without it falling off the arm. So I'm going to be cutting about there to give the width of the garment. Making a little sleeve. Since I want to make sure that my print is cut out evenly, I'm just going around the whole caftan and cutting. And then I will put the item together. So let's just get started. I save all these scraps and I put them together to make new fabric for patchwork garments. That didn't come out as wide as I expected. I could have made it a little wider. At this point, I want to make sure that the side edges are as even as possible so that when I cut, the, you know, the print will match on both sides. And I also want to make sure that my hem is as even as possible too. This is very forgiving fabric so it can be stretched a little into shape. When I had this sewing business for a hundred years, I used to have just this one little piece of paper to tell me how big to make the neck. And I can't find it. I know it's upstairs somewhere. And I used the same piece for 11 years. It was all taped up. And I hope I never threw that away. I can't imagine that I did. So I'm just gonna eye it this time. Let's go like this. And then I will keep this piece as my pattern for the next time. Since this is going to be a very wide garment, no side slits needed. Let's start sewing. with an enclosed seam on this one and the zigzag that does not show on the outside of the garment but you can see that there's no edges at all to fray. I just thought I would do it that way so that you can uh, put that in the washer and dryer for many years and it will last. All I'm doing to create that hem is putting the edges together and folding over twice. This is not a kind of seam that you would want to use on any kind of close fitting garment because the seam is a little bit more rigid, but for something flowy like a caftan, you're perfectly good with that.
I'm all done. Time for the fashion show.